Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFace.com, your boy is back and I done did it again. Guys, all right, so today's topic is why isn't Agile working? Now, before we get into this article and you know what this guy talked about and a lot of the things that you see here, which is a perfect chart, you know, this is perfect. This could pretty much explain everything about Agile. It's waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, some work waiting waiting some work waiting waiting work and then waiting 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 okay and then it gets done all right if you guys don't know what agile is it's a way it's like it's like a paradigm some i, I don't even know what's the right word for it. it it's more like a way that people uh do projects and some I don't know who created this, but people think that this is the right way to do it in offices and in projects. And they're like, hey, let's do some sprints. Let's do this and that. And then it's like, guys, every single company that I know that does agile wastes so much time. Like, I'm not even lying to you guys. It's pretty much a waste of time because this is what happens. Let's say you have a website, right? You have to do a meeting for that website, right? To figure out what's the website about. Then from there, you do another meeting to talk about what are the features that <laughs> need to be added. Then you do another meeting to send it out to the designers. The designers go in, they do their part, they go and send it back to everybody. Now there's another meeting for everybody to just look over at the design. Then they go back and forth, send the, <laughs> send the design some information like, hey, change this, fix this comes back there's more waiting now you gotta wait for everybody else to be um on time to basically work on this project and go over whatever the new designs goes through right and then from there you pass it down to the next person and be like, okay now we're gonna pass it to it and then it comes in and looks at at the designs and say hey this is what we can do this was this is what we can't do uh this is how long it's gonna take so now it's a waiting time then from there if you have other projects to do, you have to wait until those other projects get done. And then you jump to this new project. So there's like waiting on waiting on waiting, meetings on meetings on meeting. And it's like, man, sometimes, man, all these meetings take forever. We've had, uh, you know, in other companies that I worked for before, um, we've had like third parties who are like, oh, yeah, man. <coughs> Sorry. We use Jira, we use this, we use this and that. And, you know, our whole motto is agile. We do everything agile. And it's like, okay, cool. So things are going to get done in a fashion, you know, fashionable manner. Like, you know, it's like, okay, cool. By the end of the week, we're going to see some results. It's like, nah, it doesn't work like that. We have to do a meeting to do a meeting for a meeting. Like, that's how it is. <laughs> and then at the end, they'll do a little bit of work, something that could have taken a day. And then they come back and send it back to you. And you're like, wait, it took you two guys, like, you know, it was two guys. It took two guys to do this about two to three weeks, something that takes one day to get done. And it's like, yeah, but we need to get approval by this person. We need to pass it to this person to approve it. And then this other person goes in their QAs and pass it to this other. Like, guys, nothing gets done. That That's why what, what you think a lot of companies have to hire so many developers most of these companies that are running agile they're they're basically hiring a whole bunch of developers because every feature takes forever to get done not because people can get it done right away is because somebody is like hey we got to do a meeting for this meeting we need to do a meeting to get a meeting for the meeting like that's all you're going to see when it comes to agile uh, working in an agile environment is one of the worst things that could happen to any developer. And just for the simple fact that it's just a waste of time. There's a lot of things that you know you could get done right away, but it's like it, it's like the office politic. It has to get passed down to this person for this person to approve it. Then this person needs to pass it to this other person to approve it. Then they pass it to another person to approve it. And then once it gets to the top, the person says, oh, no, I didn't like this. So now everybody that's below that person has to start from the beginning and fix everything. And then everybody got to approve to approve the approval.
Like, <laughs> like it's one of the worst things in the world. Like, as a developer, man, you you be like sometimes, man, I could just get this done. We could get this done as soon as possible. It's like, wait, we actually need to do a meeting about this. You can't start coding. You can't come in and start coding, start working on something. We have a process, right? We have waterfalls. We have springs. We have, you know, the whole shebang is like, man, this is a waste of time, man. Like, can we just get some work done? You know what I mean? So this guy, he, he came in, gave you a couple of different little examples where <laughs> it was like, yo, other factors, unplanned work, handoffs, <laughs> waiting, etc. And then it's like, you look at this pie and it's like, okay, maybe 20% of the whole time was just to do work. Then everything else is just a waiting game. All right. So, yeah, man, I mean, is there a benefit to it? Sometimes, very rarely, but I doubt it. I've never seen a company that is getting anything done from it, you know, because there's another thing too. It's like sometimes, you know, let's say an example, let's say a, a CEO or somebody who has power in the company says, you know what, man, we do not know anything about web development. We do not know anything about IT. Who do we call? Let's call a consultant. A consultant comes in, looks at the flow of the company and says, hey, I can save you guys money. If you guys give me, you know, $30,000 for this month, I could set up a whole system for you guys on how to deploy, how to test, how to do this, this and that. So the guy comes in, gets $30,000, puts a, a, a basically checks and balances for every single thing in the world. Like checks and balances are good, but checks and balances uh, can be abused too. Right. It's a way to just basically put everything on hold. Nothing ever gets done because there's always something like, oh, this needs to get approved to get the approved to get an approval. Like <laughs> that's how it works. Like pretty much anybody who has done agile or have working any company that's working with this paradigms and this whatever, like freaking agile. Like I don't even know what's what's the, the exact word for it. Agile methodology, right? Like, <laughs> like sometimes I'll be like, man, people come up with things that, you know, in reality, you don't need. In, in web development, you don't need agile. Like, there's so many companies. And, you know, like, look at this company, uh, Atlassian, right? They make so much money. They, these are the people that sell the software. For every company that has been sold in the idea of agile and all this extra BS. I mean, Bitbucket is legit. I, I use Bitbucket. Source Street is legit. But let's talk about Jira, man. Like, it's like, I don't know, man. It's like a, <laughs> it's a, a freaking project management thing. Now they own Trello. Uh, let's see another one. You got collaborate chat confluence. You got, oh, uh, I think there's something called hyper chat or something like that. Uh, funny chat, something like that. It's some funny, funny ass name, um, that they have put conversations with strider on new ways to teams to talk, meet, decide, and to do is like, what? You charging people for this stuff? Like, Google already gives this for free. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many things here that. I'll be like, man, why are people paying for this? But it's because, like I told you guys, most of the CEOs, most of the owners, most of the people that are coming in, uh, VCs and people who are spending money and investing money into companies, they don't know anything about technology. They don't know anything about the process of programming. Somebody comes in and be like, hi, my name is, you know, Sean John, right? My name is Sean John. And, you know, I used to work for Google and, you know, in Google, we basically, uh, at some point, we use Agile, and I helped them set up Agile. So hire me for $30,000, and I'll get your company up to speed the same way how Google does it. And then this little company comes in, signs up, and it's like, cool. So they sign up to all this stuff. They sign up to about $50,000 a month of uh, Alassian uh, products. And then they're like, did we really need this a year, two years from now? 
They're like, yo, do we really need this? Do we just spend all this money for no reason? And it's like, yeah, you so you wasted money. There was really no point of signing up to this whole agile thing. Like, you don't need it. Just get people to work, get things done. That's it. That simple. It doesn't take that much for people to to understand what their job's supposed to be. But sometimes people want to make something that's easy and and simple complicated to make it seem as if it's like this is work we gotta make it as complicated as we can you know what i mean it's like somebody who you know it's like it's like some developers too like when they do something like they see something that's easy and they're like wait we can make this smarter how can we make this one line uh code make it into uh, a 35 line code because we want to make it more efficient than the efficient Wait, what? You want to make it more efficient than something that was already efficient? Like, it, it was already good, and you want to make it more efficient than what it was to save, uh, you know, 500 milliseconds or something like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you start thinking, I'm like, wait, what? Like, if it works, it works. Leave it alone. Let's get work done, and let's keep on moving. I've seen this done plenty of times. You know, developers are also guilty of situations like that. But the owners, man, I'm telling you guys right now, they sign up to all of this, this uh, companies because they don't even know anything. Like a lot of these guys, they, you know, they go on on uh, on LinkedIn. They signed up for groups. They signed up for groups. They signed up for, uh, you know, little teams. And they really think like they know stuff. And it's like, bro, you have to be part of the community you have to understand how the whole process of coding is how it works how how long it's gonna take you know that's one of the things that i hate the most when people come in how long would it take and you're like we have to do it we have to get in there and start working on it and then let me figure it out and tell you how far we are by the end of the day no but can you give me like a, a direct direct uh time like you know a, a good estimate is it gonna take two days three days one week I have to get in there and see how long it's going to take. I've never done it before. They're like, oh, there must be a way to estimate this. And it's like, bro, this is not, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and that's the same type of people that sign up to, to Agile, man, and Jira and all this other stuff. Like, man, it's, what a waste of time, man. But that's why I wanted to make this video, man. Somebody out there, whoever has done this, who, who has done uh, Agile before knows what the hell I'm talking about. Yes, it can get done. Uh, it can work some in some cases with minimum, uh, you know, minimum checks and balances. That's the thing. Because the problem is when now, if everybody has the power to veto things and be like, oh, this, can we go back to the drawing board and redo this or whatever? Like now it's like waiting on waiting on waiting on waiting on waiting. It's like a meeting for a meeting to get the meeting. It's like. Let's get an approval for the approval just to get the approval. Like, that's what happens all the time. People that have done Agile, y'all know what I'm talking about. And come to my website, man. Check the description below right there, right now. If you're looking to learn web development, you're looking to learn programming in general, listen, you're going to get 50% off on all my courses automatically. I have a subscription based, which pretty much says, hey, for the price of one, you get everything unlimited for the whole month right why wouldn't you want to do this we got you know react we got node.js we got learn html css we got pug template engine we have jquery oh my god the new jquery course is legit guys go check it out we got SaaS. we got terminal for developers we got building a responsive web app we got future proof javascript es6 es7 es8 javascript framework hyper app we got laravel like a boss we got uh let's build uh instagram clone all of those courses are actually free you can come here and sign up and just pretty much free anybody that wants to come take it come take it all right guys but yeah man love you guys make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you come check out the website that's the only way to support your boy and yeah see you guys later Bow.